on YouTube, Chris with CB Model Works. Welcome to the garage. So Jason over at Blue Ox Model Shop wanted a bunch of us to give a tour of our workspace. So here we go. We're out in the garage with the mess. Normally I don't show the mess too much, but here we go. That's some pieces of R2-D2 that I painted a metallic color. My free chair that somebody was throwing out. Found it on the side of the road. Works great. Comfy. And here's the main workspace. You can see the Ford GT there that I've been working on. Still working on it. Spent about two hours on decals the other day and I'm only about halfway through so decided to take a little break from it. Got our paint racks. These are actually nail polish racks. Learned that trick from Rob over at Time Machine Scale Models. And these are even big enough to hold the Tamiya Square bottles. Got my shop cards up on the wall. Trying to make it as fun as I can out here. It is a garage after all, so it's my camera mount for the building. And then I've got the other one that's built into the ring light here. That's the one I use when I'm spraying in the booth. So this is where I need to get a little more organized. I've got some random spare parts just in baggies. This is all the old tires and wheels I have. I've got another baggie with the wheels in it somewhere. Which is why I need to get organized. Trying to find them is kind of... Ridiculous. But I've been trying to keep the newer sets together. And then another model I'm working on. Got some shop cards hiding in here that I need to get some more poster boards so I can put them up on the wall. Got the B Wing sitting there in the corner. That kit has some issues. There's a lot of warped parts on it. I decided to save it for another day. This little guy turned into a decoration. As you can see right there. I don't even know what you call those on the edge of the wings, but you can see it's broken. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I broke that when I was putting it together. They're very thin, very little. So, that's just a, a bench decoration now. I'll fix that later. So yeah, there's all my spray paints. Not really any organization of them either. Cause they're just kind of all, at least in the same area on the bench. And my primer. Yeah, that's the main bench there. Got some random supplies over here. Extra decals, my seat belt material, spark plug material. And then that box under the box of stuff is what I use to put the car bodies in when they're drying to keep the dust off them. These are in progress kits. The 300ZX for my wife. Got a Supra for a JDM group built on Facebook. It's all ready for paint. R2 and BB-8. BB-8's already built. You saw R2 earlier. He just needs to be weathered. Uh, C-3PO built, needs to be weathered. And a 16th scale, 79 Firebird, waiting for primer and paint. Ready to go. Yeah, over here we got the the box for the B-Wing that you saw earlier. I've got a clone trooper that I'm working on, which normally would be a quick build, but I decided to make Captain Rex, which he has a combination of Phase 1 and Phase 2 helmets, which I thought would be easy, but it's proven to be more of a pain in the behind than I thought, so that's taking longer. And then we got my second love, which is RC. You can see the trucks there. Got the charger on the next shelf. 
and a few reloading supplies that I don't do very often anymore. Up top we have the, I would say the larger half of the stash. Hey Jason, if you're watching this, I'm curious if you ever got one of these P40s. I remember you, before Christmas you said you wanted one. So some of these kits I haven't even opened. Some of them are just parts. Those Bandai kits up top are just parts. So over this way we have the airplanes. Love flying these guys. There's some new quote unquote rules in effect. So that may limit where I can fly, but looking forward to getting out there when the wind's not insane. Unfortunately on this one, that didn't happen from a crash. I was actually moving some stuff around the garage and it fell and it nearly broke completely in half. So I'm gonna have to fix that. So as I was saying earlier, got probably about halfway through the decals on this. I wanted to take a break. Plenty of kits ready to go. So what I do, I went and got a whole nother kit out and started it. This is the one, I don't know if you, you may have seen the post where I had to strip the paint because it got messed up. Monogram 92 formula. Got it all fixed up. Repainted, decals on, clear coats on. Needs a little bit of detail painting on the interior. Gonna kind of halfway curbside it because I couldn't clean up the engine bay and it it does not look very good. I don't even want to show it. I don't even want to see it again myself actually. So probably just gonna glue the hood shut, make it a curbside and be done with it. But yeah, this here is my uh, quote unquote spray booth. Good old box fan that I pop an AC filter in front of. Got the old toolbox. One place I did get a little more organized is I made some space in here for some of my tools. Got all the sanders and files and knives and all that good stuff in there. Nice and organized. Gloves and Dremel and all the little pipe pets that I go through a million of. So yeah, that's pretty much the main workspace. I don't display anything out here because I probably wouldn't see it that often since I hardly ever get any time to work out here. But yeah, this is it. So before we go inside and take a look at where I display everything, I did get some new shop cards made up. The picture did come out slightly blurry, but I don't have the money to order a whole new batch. So I still think they came out all right. So anybody that wants one, just shoot me an email and I'll get you one out. So that's pretty much it for the actual workspace out here in the garage. Uh, we'll go inside in a second and check out where to display the models and the other half of the stash. Alright, so here we go. Got most all the cars in cases. I'm working on getting everything else in cases because it is a pain to dust everything. It's a lot easier to just dust off a case. So working on that, but yeah, this is where I got them all displayed. I'm very happy they came out with a new 68 Firebird because that one looks okay on camera, but in person it doesn't look very good. This was a birthday gift, which I'll do a separate video on that because there's some more coming. Yeah, got them all here in cases. Down here, got the Hot Wheels. I was opening them up, but again, the dusting. Very much a pain, so until I figure out a way to display those, I'm not opening up anymore. And then Star Wars guys in a case. I'm trying to figure out how to make the glare go away. So these guys still need a case over here in CC3PO and BB-8, ready for weathering. Those are for the snap kit group build, by the way. 
the rusted jalopy and some more Star Wars kits finally found the cases they're 10 by 10 by 10 18 bucks each on Amazon pretty good deal the ones at Hobby Lobby are like 40 bucks got the X-Wings done Darth Vader's TIE Fighter it's one of those things where I was in the mood to build something brought it to work with me and built it on my lunch break but he still needs paint so that's pretty much it so as far as display this one's a little special for me it's an old Revell monogram 57 Chevy it's already been started but this is my dad's kit uh, he gave it to me a couple months ago and asked me to build it for him I need to get on this uh, you can see he's actually already started it, so that'll be on the channel later on. And the last part of the stash here in the bedroom closet. These are all the ones that I didn't want out in the like ever-changing temperatures out in the garage. So, got all my Firebirds, my Tamiya kits. That's the Camaro that Mike traded me for. Got a Grand National up there that'll look really good next to that Monte Carlo and next to maybe another G-Body that's on its way. Got the Aston Martin that I really want to build, but I'm also kind of scared to build because they are so expensive. I'm worried if I screw anything up, it's just going to be done. Man, I really want to build that now. Well, thank you guys for taking the tour with me. Jason, hope you like it, and we'll catch y'all in the next video.